Hello everyone, now I am on live streaming for this time I am here to discuss with you about the use of uh, Google Scholar specifically I am focusing on how to find uh... okay I think I'm uh, online uh, so for this time I'm here to show you how to find uh, research papers including journals and books from a known uh, Google Scholar so the first thing to do is that go to any uh, Google uh, search page and then uh, type Google Scholar Google Scholar then when you search for Google Scholar uh, this link will be displayed this is scholargoogle.com so you can click here in, on the Google Scholar then such a page will be displayed Google Scholar okay then here what you are expected to do is that you can uh, type either a uh, full name of the paper or the book you are interested in or if you are not able to remember or if you are not interested to type the whole name publication year and so on and so on you can simply type any word within uh, that title or any phrase within that title in such a way you can search for the intended paper even you don't know uh, you may not know any paper but you can uh, simply search based on the idea you are interested in for example if i am interested on uh, optimization i can type optimization so here on the left uh, hand side I can uh, make my search specific based on the year for example it says since 2019 this year's publication can be found by clicking here or since previous year or since other years okay <coughs> based on the date uh, or the better on their relevance I can also go for the search now here as you see on the displays there are uh, different types of uh, titles displayed but all are related to the word optimization that I'm, I'm, I have typed here for example says numerical optimization convex optimization topology optimization in particles for optimization and colon optimization and so on and so on once again uh, the displayed uh, uh, papers are having uh, different natures for example here it is a book here also it is a book in the same way here there is a book but here it is a paper okay nothing is said here but if had it been a book then there would have been such a mark book okay so books are just specified like this and one thing that makes all the displayed uh, papers is that every uh, paper had at its very beginning one this uh, green marker line contains what the first one the name of the author then or, or the name of the author or authors then the year of publication and then here specifically uh, the publisher either online or in the hard copy way so the same information is given here so in such a way you can look at any title whichever is related to what you are searching for to what you are searching for Okay, for example, I can click here, particle swarm optimization. Meanwhile, if you are not uh, as such interested uh, with what is displayed, you can go for further search by typing uh, more related words uh, on the search area.
so I can uh, search uh, this particular sound optimization uh, differently on a different uh, page here. So till that optimization is covering a number of disciplines. So if I, for example, specific to uh, aerospace optimization, so I can type as aerospace optimization. So now it looks like somewhat specific. This multidisciplinary aerospace design optimization and so on, and so on here life cycle topology optimization in aircraft aerospace application. Or if I am interested on size optimization or shape optimization, I can type as size optimization. So I can finally see size optimization is included. So I can make two specific, uh, I can make search two specific based on the additional information I'm giving. So, uh, had there been good connection, so it would have been loading faster. Anyways, uh, the journal or the book will be displayed in such a way. <coughs> now the next thing is that if you are in need of uh, the extracting the um, papers are the references that is if you are in, in need of taking the title the author and the publication and publisher and so on information from uh, a journal or book you don't need to type everything okay. on your document rather you can uh, look at uh, the symbol next to the star okay the symbol that is site here it is also here here everywhere it is here so this is citation so uh, there are different uh, standards for writing references so based on uh, every standard or based on the standard you are interested on you can simply take the information of, of this material the reference information of this material simply you can click here so uh, uh, here there are five different standards how to write the uh, uh, appropriate reference that is MLA standard PA Chicago Harvard and Vancouver standards are listed here so they are talking about the same journal five of them but with different writing styles so based on your interest you can select any for example if I'm interested with MLA so I can simply select this one copy right click copy and take to wherever I want to take So if you have Indonote, you can simply click at Indonote and export this information to Indonote. Now this is just because of solo connection. So this is a very valuable uh, search engine, Google search, Google Scholar search, so you can find different books and papers based on this way. Okay, you can also uh, go to new tab and let me tell you some of the uh, popular journals that you can find on. So there are collection of books and uh, uh, journals that are published by uh, publishing uh, companies. For example, the most known one is Science Direct. Science Direct. So you can simply type like this, Science Direct. So this is sciencedirect.com, sciencedirect.com. So this uh, contains a number of books and journals based on each discipline, appropriate discipline. So what you have to do is that you can either write the keyword of the title that you want or if you know the author of the book or the journal you can type the author. So you can type also the uh, title of uh, the journal or the book, the volume issue or something can be, value information can be. And once again it can be 
uh, access it with payment or it can be open access so based on that you can either directly go to the open access or just it might be uh, go to by paying online so for example here if I want uh, reinforced concrete I can type like this so if I don't know any information with this or if I am not interested on specifying any of this value this uh, information so I can simply search on here so those which are related to reinforced concrete are displayed here for example traditional behavior of reinforced concrete beams with coral reinforcement and so on so on you can find a number of so you can facilitate your search by refining uh, latest ones or years or by types of articles that are reviewed articles, research articles, exactly, and so on. By publication title, if you know the publication title, and so on and so on. <coughs> now, the next thing is that if you are just interested on this paper, for example, as for the performance of reinforcing concrete beams, and so on, so I can click here on this PDF. So if it is open access, so it can uh, open directly. Either you might be asked to purchase it online. So it is a uh, free early access it. So as you see here, um, this is a property of uh, Science Direct Journal and specifically Elsevier. And then here is the number 2019 publication here, the, the accessing it. So here you can find the title, the flexural performance of reinforced concrete beam strength and with fiber reinforced geopolymer concrete under accelerated corrosion. Here are the authors. This is the information of the authors from where they are. Here is the abstract, here is the keyword. So, for faster look, what you have to do is that you have to look here. This is 2019 publication. You have to look here, the name of the journal, and you have to look here, the title of the paper. Okay? And then, for quick understanding of the content of this paper, you can read this abstract. And if you are not well uh, understanding the concept, you can go to near the end of this paper that is summary and conclusion in this part okay and then you will try to understand what the idea is about so if you are interested on the abstract and the conclusion so you can go for the reading and once again you may find uh, different references reference books which are better appropriate for your uh, interest so you can read each uh, reference or you can click so you can access it this is very very important in, in, in collecting different research uh, reading materials so in such a way you can read this one so one of the most important ones is science direct you can uh, find any title uh, other than engineering for example chemical composition composition so i don't know what the detail is but let me uh, type like this then here it says chemical composition of chrysanthemum teas and their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties and here you can find more so you can make this more specific and then you may get specified um, results. So in such a way, Science Direct is very, very important and it is almost containing all disciplines. Okay, another uh, important um, thing is um, as I said you uh, before when you are uh, looking for uh, Google Scholar so I told you how to make the citation here is 
the information how many times it is cited or how many times it is referenced. So you can also find related articles here. So here it is referenced 269 times. It is it is cited 281 times. Here it is so the more the citation shows the more its popularity and its importance is so you can extract information from this my dear uh, online followers this is uh, all about my today's video so i am expecting you to subscribe subscribe to my channel share and inform 